Welcome back to our YouTube channel, ladies and gentlemen, and thank you very much for taking your time to be part of this show. President William Samoy Ruto today officially replaced the late General Francis Ogola when he promoted the former Lieutenant General Charles Kahariri into the position of a full a position of a full general and subsequently appointed him the new chief of defense forces. When General Gola died, the Embakasi East Member of Parliament, Babo Wino, raised pertinent questions. And one of the questions that Babo Wino asked was, why did General Gola meet his death just a few months after William Ruto made changes and appointments within the military ranks? And the other question that Babu was uh, raising is whether there is any connection between Ogola's death and uh, 2027 elections. We all understand that when it comes to appointments of uh, service commanders, that is the Army commander, Kenya Navy commander, and Kenya Air Force commander, and the appointment into who finally becomes the chief of, Gen of, of defense forces, it is not the sole prerogative of President William Ruto. He is guided by the military council. In that military council, the president is represented by a defense minister, in this case, Eden Dwali, and of course, the principal secretary in the Ministry of Defense is also there. But we also understand that the president is a politician. In as much as our military is very neutral, very professional, and they have taken oath of office to serve all Kenyans equally, any politician in office would want someone from their tribe, someone who is a very close friend, in charge of positions such as the CDF or security. And you will, we, we know this. So when Bob Wino raised this question, People discussed it. And it is because William Ruto himself had even accused General Gola of going to Bomas to overturn his victory. This is something that people have spoken over and over again, and I don't want to repeat it. When the former president, Uhuru Kenyatta, promoted General Gola from the position of a major general to the position of a lieutenant general, many experts argued that he was placing General Gola strategically in a position where he had to be the new CDF because according to Tonje rules, that position will rotate from Kenya Army, Kenya Navy, and the Kenya Air Force. Even as we speak, we understand that General Gola was from the Kenya Air Force. His predecessor, General Kibochi, was from the Kenya Army. And before Kibochi was, uh, I think, Madebe, who was from... Uh, the Kenya Navy. Now, I want us to look at the power games that William Ruto is playing, and by the end of this analysis, I will prove to you that the, 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 the next new Chief of Defense Forces will be a challenging, and this is very strategic. As we continue the discussion, if you are watching us for the first time, allow me to request you to subscribe to our channel, click the notification bell, and like our videos. You can also help us share our videos and uh, give this video likes. Again, thank you very much to those who support this channel. Now, ladies and gentlemen, in the promotions and changes that were made today by President Ruto, Kenya has been left with five officers in the position of a lieutenant general. You must have realized that before one is appointed into the position of a, a chief of defense forces, he must be promoted to attain the, 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 the rank of a, a general, a full general. General Gola, General Kibochi, Mwadebe, Karangi, all of them. Before that, they attain that position of a lieutenant general as, as, as a deputy Chief of Defense Forces. And so William Ruto has placed five people to confuse Kenyans. And I know many people are now guessing who will be the next Chief of Defense Forces 
after kahariri and this is what i want to explain to you that strategically it will go to a calendar i don't know whether it is by default or coincidence i don't know now in the promotions that william ruto did today he also promoted the one who was until his appointment the commander at the air force omenda john omenda he has been promoted into the position of a lieutenant general one of the of, of the five that i'm talking about and immediately appointed to the position of a deputy chief of general staff you know all these positions are supposed to be neutral and professional but during the burial of general gola you had uh, Dwale telling Lewis that they were given that position because William Ruto loved them. And you, they also bragged that apart from that, they added the PS Omolo, PS in the Ministry of Interior. So in as much as these positions are supposed to be uh, on meritocracy, yes, it happens. But after that, they always want to take credit that they gave it to certain, you know, ethnic communities. You've had the current governor, of uh, Transoya saying that Luya is a very big community but they've never had a, they've never had anybody to the position of a, a CDF and he has been complaining that this is very wrong for a community that is a large that can 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 produce even a presidential candidate so Omenda is from the Luya community and for the very first time since the history of Kenya they can now brag that they have a uh, the, the the new cdf and I, the new deputy cdf and i know from where they are some of them are thinking that this will be the next cdf but i want to explain to you why it might not be so any soon but before that i also want to inform you that we for the very first time in the promotions kenya now has a new woman commander we have uh, Major General Fatuma Gaiti Ahmed as the Air Force Commander, the first woman service commander taking over from Lieutenant General Omenda. So those promotions have really elevated very many, including the first woman commander. Now, ladies and gentlemen, I want us to remind ourselves of a few things as I try to explain to you why the next CDF must be a collagen. Now, we now have five lieutenant generals. When William Ruto did his penultimate promotions, we had Lieutenant General Jimson Longiro Mutai, who was posted to be the vice chancellor at the National Defense University. He remains, William Ruto did not shake him. He is from the Kenya Navy. And because the position of the, 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 the CDF had, had, had rotated, and the next CDF was supposed to come from the Kenya Navy, many people had started uh, uh, allegations that William Ruto wanted Longiro to take over. But uh, Ka Kariri is also from the Kenya Navy, so he has taken over. Now we have another lieutenant general called David Kimaio Tarus, who is now the Kenya Army Commander. And I want you to note that name because I will prove to you why the new or the next Chief of Defense Forces will be this man called David Kimayu Tarus, who is the new army commander. And of course, we have another lieutenant general called Juma Shi Mwinyikai, who is the commandant of the National Defense Forces. So I've mentioned to you three of them. We have Jimson Longiro from the Kenya Navy, who is uh, the vice chancellor at the National Defense University. We have this General Kimayo Tarus, who is uh, Lieutenant General Tarus Kimayo, who is the, 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 the Kenya Army Commander, and of course Juma Shi. Then let us add Lieutenant General Omenda, who is now the new Deputy Chiefs of Defend, Defense Forces, and of course Lieutenant General Mbadi, who was promoted by, William, by the former President Uhuru Kenyatta, together with the late General Ogola. Having known that we have five officers at the level of a lieutenant general, I want us to look at uh, the Tonje rule. Because many people have argued, I even remember Duale during the 
Barrio of, of General Rogola, he had said that Tonje rule was a gentleman's agreement and that if William Ruto had wanted, he would have uh, bypassed the recommendation of the military council not to appoint General Rogola into that position. But I have realized that ever since this Tonje rule was adopted, it has been followed and obeyed by the, the, the subsequent administration. The late President Moi followed that rule, the late President Kibaki followed that rule, the former President Uru Kenyatta followed, and there was no way William Ruto would ignore the Tonje rule because that would set a very bad blood between him and the military. And if there is something that any president would not want, is a very bad relationship between him and, and the generals. Those people can overturn you, can overturn you, your victory. They can make your life very difficult. So Tony Rule demands that uh, there is a rotation. And I want to also inform you that the rules also demand that a general and uh, all, the, all, all, the, all, all the commanders will retire, will serve for a one term, a mandatory one term of uh, four years. And a general will retire at 62 years old. A lieutenant general will retire at 61. A major general will retire at 59. And a brigadier must retire at 57. So you must take into account that age factor is, 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 is must be factored in. However, the KDF Act also allows the president to extend the tenure of uh, chief of defense forces when we are facing uh, uncertainty. Like for example, in 2022, we were, we, we were approaching an election that was very precarious and the KDF Act allowed Uhuru Kenyatta to extend the tenure of General Kibochi, and that is why he did two terms. And I want to read for you something here that is also that also gives uh, William Ruto powers within the KDF Act. It says the president may remove, retire, or deploy the chief of the defense forces, the vice chief of defense forces, or any of the vice commanders at any time before the expiry of the term of the office. So he has that authority. That is why the former president, Uru Kenyatta, removed the, that was now Major General Jeff Otieno, who was supposed to become, the I think, the new CDF, because it was retorting and he knew that the next CDF was to come from the Air Force, and Jeff Otieno was supposed to become the new CDF. So, he deployed him to become an ambassador in Egypt to, to, to ensure that he did not attend that position. I'm also told that uh, General Pande, but when Moi realized that he was to become the new CDF, he was given some role at a peacekeeping mission in Sierra Leone or something. So the president always has all these powers. He can do whatever he wants. Now, ladies and gentlemen, let us look at the Lieutenant General, because when Kahariri retires, I understand that Kahariri is about 60-something and he, may, he will not serve up to 2027. By the time we approach 2027, he will retire and we will have a new CDF. Now, I told you that uh, we have General, uh, the Lieutenant General Omenda. And this is why I want to explain to you why, why the next CDF must come from a Kalenjin nation. Omenda is from the Air Force. He was, before his appointment, he was the commander in the Air Force. The late General Ogola was from the Air Force. And you know that due to Tonje rules, the person who has taken over Kahariri is from the Kenya Navy. So from Kenya Navy, it has to go to Kenya Army before it rotates to the Kenya Air Force. I don't know how old General, uh, the, the Lieutenant General Menda is, by the time this position will rotate, until it comes back to Omenda, he might have, uh, he will have maybe attained his retirement age. And even if he doesn't, because he must serve in that position for uh, just one term, four years. And then I think there is a compulsory retirement or if he acquires it. So it is still very far 
from Omenda. I know the lawyer community is very happy and for the first time they have it, but he's not very close. He's not the next CDF because it has to go to the to the Kenya army. Now, the other uh, Mutai Longiro, who people thought was going to, to be given this position, is from the Kenya Navy. Now, in the Kenya Navy, Kahariri has taken over, and that means for it to rotate, Longiro will have retired. So Mutai will also not take this position. So we have ruled out Omenda, because it's from Air Force, who, this Longiro is also from the Kenya Navy. Now, let us, we, we now remain with uh, John Buddy. Let's, let's look at John Buddy. John Buddy is also from the Kenya Air Force, just the same as Omenda. So you, the, the, the uh, Buddy is also out of the equation. So we only have two people, ladies and gentlemen, and I'm here to submit to you that Kimaiyo, who is the Lieutenant General, who is now the, 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 the commander of the Kenya Army, will be the next CDF come 2027. And he has been placed strategically there. That is why William Root did not even bother giving this position to this General Jimson Lomiro because he wants that position to go to Akikuyu Kahariri. They will also be very happy that they have that position. Yeah, because General Ogola was from the Kenya Air Force. His predecessor, General Kibochi, was from the Kenya Army and now Kenya Navy has taken over. So it goes without saying that the next CDF must be from the Kenya Army and the person who is supposed to become who is uh, supposed to be given that position is none other the Kenya Army Commander Lieutenant General Kimayu Taruz he's been given that, that position. That's why I'm mentioning to you that we have five officers at the position of a Lieutenant General but only one who was placed strategically is from the Kenya Army. He's the commander. He has attained the position of, of a Lieutenant General. He is Kimaiyo Tarus. And that's why I'm here to mention to you that the next CDF is a Kalenjin. And William Ruto wants to go to the next general election with a Kalenjin of the CDF so that we don't have issues of, oh, someone went to Bomas to overturn the people's will. Someone did not want me to become the president. So that is it, and there's nothing you can do because all the recommendations were given by the military council together with the authority that William Ruto has been given as the president under the KDF Act. So, gener uh, ladies and gentlemen, we are not even looking at Kahariri taking over from Ogola. We are looking at who will take over after Kahariri. And I've mentioned to you. Please drop your comments about what you think about the promotions because I have submitted to you with authority that the next CDF must be a Kalenjin from Ruto's community. I don't know what you think, but that is my take. Kindly subscribe to our channel if you are watching for the first time. Help us share our videos, like this video, and continue supporting the channel. Let's meet in the next video.